Almost five years ago now, I came to Chattanooga, frightened and alone, depressed beyond measure. The voices told me to hurt myself, abuse myself, burn and strike and ill-use myself, and I didn't want to be pulled out. I wanted to sink in sallow, stinking swamps. I called my life bed. I couldn't get out of my own head, and I couldn't be bothered trying. Crying was exhausting. And that was the end. This city was not a home, just a means to an end I didn't give a fuck for. Luck was for losers, and I wasn't even playing the game. I went through the motions and ate all my pain like a bitter pill I had to swallow. And it could have continued. I was content to wallow, too hollow. I made casual acquaintances and grudgingly got back into the theater. I had a relationship that let me be stupid and I reveled in all of his charms. And yet, something about this city would not let me lay down my arms and die. People I met here demanded that I get up and try and I am sorry for the wrath they encountered. I found my voice and I screamed myself hoarse just trying to be counted. I didn't know my voice already carries. I broke down and rose up, made friends and enemies, and eventually I learned how to heal. And now, with the dust of this town on my heels and the lights of another city in my eyes, I am starting anew. Like my cold gut like my cold-blooded cousins, I am shedding my skin. I have gorged on sin. I have starved on salvation. I have taken my island and turned it into a nation. I am grateful this town has been good to me. It's been medicine, water, and food to me. And I take those supplies with me. Come Chattanooga and kiss me goodbye. I came here limping and learned how to fly. And now I am leaving, going, and gone but you'll still be in my heart as the place I called home. <laughs>